Last time on Hero Squad, Under the Dragon Shadow. My old gang, they're working with House Farland now, and they're planning on blowing up the queen. Let's go to the costume shop. We could probably get a couple dirty kid costumes. <laughs> Me and you, will dirty kid it together. Turns out, queen thinks you're great. You can come, and while she is getting dressed, you can go and be there and see the dresses. Maybe we should convince her to not go to the play. We don't want to offend House Farland, but we also want to make sure that we're safe. Don't worry about such things. If yeah. anything like that were to happen, it would be sniffed out quite uh, hastily. Blowing up the whole bum, city? Bum. Because all these crates, they're full of explosives, and they're everywhere. On the continent of Corvair, a chance encounter brought four intrepid travelers together on the road to adventure. Though they began as strangers, they soon became known as the Hero Squad. last left off um rager and atlas had tried to show the explosives to a guard uh there was some kind of spell that was uh obfuscating them from view and uh they were not able to convince uh the guard to do anything mm -hmm. so uh, and then i think they got ice cream um mm -hmm. so with that let's go to um Brittany and christina you are leaving the palace. You have had, uh, you have picked your dresses that you're going to have, and they are being sent to your quarters so that you can go and um, sweet dress uh, appropriately when uh, right before the show. Uh, and we've got like ha half the day until the show. Like it's it's the middle of the afternoon, and, and, and the show will be on in the evening. So you got a little bit of time left before the show is going to happen. So take it away. Oh, we're just on our way back? Yeah. I guess so, yeah. Well, we tried our best. I don't know much more we can do. I'm surprised you didn't try to seduce her. Well, I wasn't given the appropriate opportunity to seduce the queen. <laughs> I would have tried and I would have succeeded, but alas, here we are on our way back. So, I still think we should just bounce. Yeah. Yeah. Cause... I mean, there is nothing that ties us to this town. Let's go. Like, where are the others, though? Which others? You know the ones. Atlas and Rager. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, well, I mean, they, I don't know. They're off being sewer boys. But they know that? I don't think you guys know about the sewer boys. No, because I, I suggested it. Oh, did you? Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> sewer boys. It's your new team it's, name. It's, it's the new band that's coming out. Sewer boys. Sewer boys. The, the next boy band. Well, I mean, I guess Listen, we, can, we can just let them know that we're leaving. Well, we've got. I, I assume to do. that they're going to go back to the hotel at any point. That seems yeah. to be the place where I mean, we always we meet have, up again. We have to go back. Plus, if some explosions. Wait, are we even going to this thing? Did we decide yet? Yeah, I mean that's. We my should question. probably decide. This is Mary Kate. Um, Mary Kate's there. Well, <laughs> if we do go, I have a way of securing our safety if anything does happen. What? Oh, it's a it's a little secret palace that we get to go to that keeps us safe from everything. What? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. It's called it. Brittany's Tiny Hut. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like a palace. It sounds like a well, that's taco. the listen. <laughs> there are there might also be tacos there, okay? <laughs> All right. It's a it's a spell I can cast that will put us in a very safe place so that we will stay alive. So when are we going to the taco palace? If we need to. Okay. I'm not wasting a spell slot on something we don't need to do. <laughs> Look, I'm down leaving. I and I, God knows, I would love to go because none of this is, none of this has anything to do with us. No, and I'm fine. And also, I don't safe. know how to alert anybody without look, making us look like crazy people, as well as just causing more confusion than there already is. So, I mean, keeping us alive is most important because if we're all dead, then we can't do anything in the future. Well, yeah, that's how that works. Mm -hmm. If only Rhaegar would see that truth, but 
alas. So, <clears throat> you guys arrive back at the hotel mm -hmm. at roughly the same time I'm still as wearing the dress Rager though. and Atlas. Um, so now you guys can meet up and discuss what you found. Good God, you guys smell. Well, yeah, what is that? Sewer, mostly. <laughs> yeah. You're bathing before anything else, Look, right? I've taken my monthly bath already, all right? I'm bathing before anything else. But before even that, you should probably know, basically under every sewer in the whole town, I think, yeah, there's bombs. This whole place is going up. Chock-a-block full of bombs. Like, not even just, like, small bombs. Crates and crates and crates full of bombs. There's just little children, hands full of bombs <laughs> down there, running them back and forth. Everywhere. Everywhere. They're letting children set bombs? They're making not, them. Not even letting. They're only doing... Tiny, nimble yeah. hands. It makes sense. Does it? I feel like they're... Why haven't one of them gone off yet? I Tiny, mean, nimble hands. Yeah. Okay, anyway. And apparently one did, and that, that spooked the rest of them. Yeah, yeah, there was this one kid. He was messed up, man. He was terrified. I think that settles it, sister. I think we should just go. Go where? Out of the city. Oh, where well, you're leaving? Yeah, I don't feel like exploding, do you? Where are we going? To that rock? Which rock? The whispering one. Sure. That's where our... Where, where, where is our next one? You're, yeah, you guys are doing... We were going to do Stockwood. Oh, right. At the Whispering, <laughs> uh, the whispering, uh, the whispering Rock. Oh, yes. Then let's... The Eldine Reaches. Yeah, then like let's that. go there. That sounds good. <laughs> okay. Do I need to take a bath before I go? Yes. We have enough time for you to take a bath. <laughs> I'm not getting in a carriage with that amount of stink. So wait, are you not going to watch the show with the Queen or... Yeah, the queen's probably going to be pretty pissed off about that. She's I mean, going to be dead. Well, <laughs> unless there were somebody that she trusted there to warn her. We tried to. It. We tried to. We tried very hard. Did we you tell her there's an explosion? Did you? And that she will blow up? No, because How then did they would have. you guys? Uh, yeah. And, and did you bring someone that she trusts? <laughs> Who do we know that she trusts? She trusted you. Enough to let you into her private and we quarters. We tried. Hey, we tried as well by setting her palace on fire. That's true. I mean, fake fire, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Look, all I'm saying is that if we were to tell them, you know, there's bombs everywhere. Yeah, they'd probably look at us like we're crazy because we smell like the sewer. But you guys are fancy celebrities. You have a little bit more sway. Your word carries a little bit more weight. And you than know that what happened when we were there? We told them that maybe we should not attend the thing. Maybe we should go someplace that's not in the city. And we were looked at like we we're. Did you tell them why? Well, what what is that? Did no you give them proof to give them? We only had the word of your person friend coming to you. Right, but now we do. We saw the bombs. We although, were down there. So, they were everywhere. You guys just fair. said you failed at it, though. Yeah, because to... we're crazy people. You guys are celebrities. You're the biggest group. Yes, but where did we get our information from? A thief. Our, how is that a reliable source if we were to tell the queen, oh, a thief told us. So you're just not going to go to the show and tell her? We can her? send to be, a to message. To be fair, we did try to tell authorities that there was bombs down there, and then we looked like fools. Because we look like fools. No, because we went down there to try to show them where the bombs were. And there were no bombs there for them to see. Yeah, but they cast a spell, and now we know that. And we, yeah. we scared the children. We could scare them again. <laughs> we're grown-ups. <laughs> but even still, a, a, pol a police officer, as you guys said, didn't believe you because of the spell. I'm sure these thieves down there with these children are covering their tracks. All I'm saying is it's probably worth a try to say, Hey, Queen, there's a bunch of bombs underneath this performance and you're going to blow up and then let her make the decision. The fact that she doesn't even know, she hasn't even been warned that there's bombs seems a little callous of us. Like Honestly, like you seem to, I don't know if you have some, like a Queen's poster up in your bedroom at home or something. I could care less about the Queen. It's like all the other people in the city seem to be like, what, what's going to happen to them? Well, if the queen evacuates, then hopefully she can call for everybody else to as well. If the queen believes there's a bomb, then there's a trickle-down effect. Everybody else. But she lends tri legitimacy. Trickle-down queenonomics. Maybe. Exactly. <laughs> but what is it like? Okay, so if she decides to call an evacuation, what's why wouldn't the bombs just go off sooner than when they were planned? Yeah, they would just trigger the bombs if they knew that everyone was evacuating. 
I don't know. You I mean, said that there's yeah, bombs that everywhere, chaos. so I'm sure some people may survive right. rather than no people survive. I, I just it seems silly that the answer is just don't do anything because why even we try? We did not do anything. We both tried, didn't well, we? You just you. What did you do? What did you do for the queen to try to stop her? We tried to tell her that there was an attack on the other concert. And they were like, well, do you think it's going to happen? This one I was like, we can't be too sure without well, divulging that we got our information from a criminal. Well, I'm just I'll, saying I mean, you, that we tried as well. Yes. And we're met with <laughs> with awkward stares from the police officer. Right. But again. All right. Here. Here's what we'll do. <laughs> we're Gwen. not celebrities. Hi. Hey, how's it going? What's uh, up? How, hi, what Gwen. What's okay, going on? Um, so. I need to get a high-level mage to send a magical message. Okay, I'll Too sweet. That, Here's a bag of gold. Go get that oh, person right away. Oh, you want me to bring them here? Yes, bring okay, them sure. here. Okay, sure. Got it. Wonderful. Got it. Love no you, worries. Gwen. No You're problem. amazing. Right. Does anybody else need anything? Um, Alice? Hi. Uh, I'm good, thanks. Okay. Well, also, Gwen, you're coming with us. We need to pack a chariot to oh, go. Of course. Okay. Well, um, what? We can't go to the show. Unless certain complications have arisen where our safety is not guaranteed at tonight's performance, and I don't want to put us in any danger. No, of course not. I mean, like, that's obviously, like, that's not great, but, like, I mean, like, the queen invited you, you know, like, this is, like, I know, that's why we're sending the magical message. Okay. Very um, quickly. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye, Alice. <laughs> uh, she leaves. <laughs> I suggest you all pack up what you want because we're leaving. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I don't want to leave. Is it because you want to kill Leo Dragar? Yeah. I mean, even though there's a chance that you'll explode. Is it because explosions don't actually kill you? I mean, that might be part of it, too. <laughs> explosions kill us, just so we're clear on the whole situation. Well, I mean, you know where we're going to be. If you want to catch up with us, that's fine. I mean, you're your own person. I mean, like, I just feel like, you know, we could... I mean, maybe this magical message that you send could do something, but, like, we could try and, I don't know, stop some of the bombs or something? You know, like... How? I don't know. What were they like? There were crates, and there was lots of them. Crates of explosives that were planted at various locations around the entire city. Basically, underneath buildings. For example, we went down the sewer underneath the library... And that place is going up, man, let me tell you. Yeah, and they seem to be doing it for, I think they said weeks? Yeah. Months, maybe? They've been, they've been plotting this for a while. Yeah. Do you think there's a bunch, like, under the, like, where the show's going to be? Oh, yeah, probably. I think probably the whole yeah. downtown's going to, like, go up. They, they did specifically mention the whole square area. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be a lot of people there. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, we, it would be great if we tried to warn them, but, I mean... We were deceived by a spell when we tried to show the police, but then again, I'm just a a, a, a sewer child. <laughs> sewer child. A gutter we could rat. get you another disguise and make you not a sewer child again. Or, you know, just the world's most famous girl group could just, you know, maybe go down there and say like, hey, we got a new song. It's called Get Out of the City. You're going to blow up. <laughs> Get out of the city, or you're going to blow up. Out of character, you're going to have to give me a week to write that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm, I am on board for saving the city if we can. The whole situation seems very much larger than us, yeah. and that we have attempted to do it a few times. So I'm down to save who we can, but at the moment, I don't know how to evacuate the city. And I don't know how to stop the bombs. Well, it seems like Marakai, maybe you have an idea. She seems pretty determined to stick around here and try to do something. I mean, we could go down into the sewers and try and, like, move some of those boxes. Or... There could be and explode while trying to move the boxes. Oh, you guys have spells? Yeah. Don't you have a spell that could assist us? How about we put them all in your taco palace? There you go. I'm not putting the bo... No, I, that's for <laughs> me and for, um, for well, my... We don't know where all the bombs are. Well, I mean, like, like I said, I mean, we can't, we don't have to like, we're not gonna be able to get all the bombs. But how do we pick and choose then? What gives us the get, right to get all the ones that are around the 
square where everybody's going to be. But what there. makes exactly? But what makes it so that the people around the square are safe versus the, everybody else? Because they most of the people in the there. city will be in the square. Not everybody. Not everybody, but Other the alternative is jobs. the alternative is we don't do what anything and nobody survives. That has it's to a, keep the bar open. So we are we are essentially playing God and saying the people in the square enjoying a show are worth more than the people that are that they, are okay, living then, and working. Then let's go move That's the unfair. boxes from under the bar. We can't do that. We Why? cannot save everybody. Exactly. So since we can't save everybody, we should save nobody? That's a ridiculous argument to make. No, it's not. You should save some if you can save some. Out of character, I love that Rick. I know. A rogue. You are the is, voice of reason. Yeah, this is my hometown. Yeah. You're, you're like self-preservation should be high up, I think, on your list of priorities. This is my hometown. <laughs> it's where I'm from. I have roots here. Uh, oh yeah, you're from here. Do you like know people? Like, what about like all your thief friends? I mean, I I do have a thief friend in this town still. The rest of them kind of want me dead. I mean, do you think that maybe your thief friend has other friends? Because if Possibly. we could get them all on board, maybe they. I can mean, help. I talked to her. She but, kind of came in under the cover of night to. <sighs> To give warn me, you? To, to warn me, yes. Maybe to leave the city to save your life? She didn't warn me to leave the city. Maybe that it was implied? I don't know why you guys are so against trying to save some people. We're I mean, I'm, fi I'm fine to, to leave. Save some people, but the fact is, is that we might get caught up in this and die with the rest of them. There's a chance, but you've got a spell. You said so yourself. Didn't you say, don't worry, if we need to, we can go to Brittany's tiny hut? You literally <laughs> said that. So really, we are at no risk here. Either everybody dies and we survive, or some people survive and we survive, because it seems like either way you cut it, we'll be fine. I mean, I'll be fine. <laughs> and Christina will be fine. <laughs> And Gwen will be fine. I mean, look, just take me to where some of the explosives are and I'll see what I can do. Yeah, I could show you. Yeah. I mean, that's at I least I do like the something. idea of Rhaegar, you attempting a coup on your old gang and then telling all the children to stop their production and undo Wait. everything they've done. Well, are I, you I saying mean, the, his gang is the one that planted the bombs? Definitely. Yeah, it's my old gang. Yeah, they, they have new leadership now, which is why they kind of want me dead. So then why don't you just take over your the leadership again? Because there's one of me and there's dozens of them, not to mention a dozens. child army with nibble fingers. <laughs> well, can't you get the children on your side? You were a child once. I don't know. He wasn't very good with the children that were down there in that sewer. Well, he was pretending to be a child. They're not going to respect another child. <laughs> yeah, that's what children just I didn't just threaten to blow them other. up last time I was down there. <laughs> Off that? in the distance you hear just like a... <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe they won't listen to you, but they'll surely listen to two pop stars. See, Ooh. now you're talking. Let's I'm, go. I'm on board just to see them down in the sewer. Me We're too. not. No, there will be Let's go. things that will not happen. Mark, I'm not, right away. Let's do it. All right. So, is everybody going? Well, no, are you I need not going to gonna send your message. I'm going to send my message. Because I love the idea of everybody leaving. <laughs> Gwen comes back like, um, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> She's prepared a carriage and everything. Gwen. Oh no, we have to wait for Gwen to come back. All right. So we can send the message. Do we have to wait in real time? Can we just fast forward? <laughs> we're just we're gonna wait for 25 minutes. Yeah. Right. There, was, there a, was traffic. Yeah. Gwen returns with a wizard in tow. Perfect. I need to send a very important message to the queen. Uh, yes, what would you like uh, me to send the message? Yes. Also, the queen is very busy, so I don't know if she's I know, I'm paying you very well to send yeah, this message. No, that's, I'll send it. I just and it's very guarantee urgent. that she'll listen to it. You know, a lot of people send her messages. She doesn't. Well, Gwen, if you can find us a wizard that is willing to help us. I'll do it. I'm mm. just saying. I'm just be realistic about it, you know. What kind of guarantee can you give us that she'll receive this message? She will receive it. I'm just not saying she won't maybe read it, like who would listen to it or whatever. Like, well, know. then put on the message. This is urgent. This is in regards to your life, dear queen. That sounds threatening, that's actually. Sound, that's yeah. Nice. Well, fine. Then word it a little bit better. We call to that, save your life. We call um, those messages spam. It's, write it like a love letter from a neighboring prince. 
Well, we just saw her today. Maybe yes. we could send a message about the dresses. Yes, in regards to the, the dresses. dresses that you gave us today. All right, see, now there you go. Now you've got yeah. some traction. I mean, just saying. Oh, my think gosh. About how you this guy's got an things. attitude. I, I, I'm about to Are you the something. best mage yeah, in, in you, town? Yes, Are I you am. just the most egotistical? Gwen, Gwen. Hi, yeah, what's up? Is he the best? He is the most highly rated. That he is the best in the city for okay. sure. All you right. He's like Welp? The Wizard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was on Welp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> by on whelp, I mean I was literally riding atop a creature called Welp, <laughs> and Welp told me highest rated wizard in the city. Welp knows. Yeah, Welp knows. Welp knows everything. In regards to the dresses that you uh, gifted us earlier, well, that will be the title, right? Yes. Unfortunately, okay. we'll have to return them because we have. No, 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 no. Just Go like the, on. The, the, the title. That's just the title. Once. Yeah. She opens the magical message. My dearest queen, I am so sorry to write you this message with such haste. Uh, we a have... Little, a little quill is like floating about, like mm -hmm. writing on like a little piece of paper. We have a source uh, that we dearly trust that has informed us that the, your life is in danger. There are bombs underneath the theater and they plan to explode uh, during the performance. Can I make a suggestion? Yes. Your life and those of your citizens? Mm hmm Sure. Your life and those of your citizens. Uh, what's this amount of bomb? Why get my yes, there are bomb. bombs under the city. This is why this is urgent. Do you have and any if protection you don't spells this, as a mage? Uh, you might want to polish up on those. But to be clear, deliver the message first before you yeah. do that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, finish your message, please. please it we, is a, we, we strongly it is suggest evacuating the city and getting relay, yourself to a safe relaying place. Relaying the same urgency to your citizens as well. Oh, maybe, maybe also, uh, P.S. Keep it on the DL so that the bombers don't find out. But she's going to tell her citizens to also evacuate. Yeah, how could you know? Just you know, just do it. Do it in a calm fashion, I guess. Great, because panic always goes. Yeah, no one's not going to panic from this. P.S. The dresses are absolutely fabulous, and I can't wait to attend in this dress in a safer venue. Love, Brittany and Christina. Wait, you guys are keeping the dresses? She gifted to them. To oh, us. nice. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Atlas, does she know me? Yeah, can no. we come did next mention, time? Did you mention us? Free clothes? Don't mention Atlas or Rhaegar. I wasn't going to. Okay, good. She didn't mention Thank us to the queen. Yeah. Thank you so much for all your help. This is very urgent. <laughs> All right, I'll the get, lives I'll, of the city depend on I'll it. The then again, we didn't mention them to the children. Bet she mentioned the Jolly, though. Yeah. <laughs> Gwen. <laughs> the wizard leaves. <clears throat> yeah, what's up? How's it going? Um, I need you... Uh, also, um, bombs? Yeah, yeah bombs. there are bombs under the city. Anyway, forget about that. What I need is these dresses packed up, and I need you to carry them. We're going to the sewers, and I need something to change into... After we save the city. There's not time for that. Got it. That's adventure wear. I got do, it. yes. I go. need it's... some spelunking gear. We got it. <laughs> she, she, we're not going. There's one of those. Cave diving. Uh, we're going into a sewer. What's yeah, the difference? I mean, there's a ladder. It's You don't need like ropes I'm wearing, and stuff. I'm wearing galoshes. Well, that's I'm fine. Not, I'm fact, not sticking uh, my feet. The longer boots you got, probably the better. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I want like those fisherman things. Waiters? <laughs> Waiters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm not touching that so, sewer water, that poo water. Uh, like, like a bunch of attendants come in and they start. Uh, like, Just me. Uh, yeah. You I was more saying. I was. I was more <laughs> saying. They are. They are taking your clothes into a room for you to go change in, and then they are packing up your dresses like and things. That. They're going to us in the yeah. room. She's just standing She's there, like, like dress me, and they're like. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave now. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I'll meet you guys outside. Yeah, we'll, we'll be in the hallway. Yeah. You change into your Spelunker's gear. Mm -hmm. You guys, Marakai, all outside. I Christina. Don't, I don't bother to bathe if we're going back down there. <laughs> I mean, that's a yeah. yeah. That's, that's a, be a, that's waste. a fair point. Might be a waste, yeah. That's a very fair point. I'm just going to take some of this and I grab like some flowers. Mm -hmm. Start rubbing them on the floor. <laughs> I cast Prestidigitation on Atlas to make him smell like roll, water. Roll a charisma. <laughs> Critical fail! <laughs> Put that you one You accidentally grabbed 
Poison Ivy. <laughs> what, what was Poison Ivy doing in the hotel? <laughs> they were sitting at his side. Yeah, yeah this was, you, you found Gardner's clippings that they had just, like, they were clearing out. Because you guys stepped outside, and that's where you found the flowers. And this is basically, like, a, a yard debris bin <laughs> that you have <laughs> reached into. You just assumed any plant was a flower. And you just started rubbing it all over yourself. Yep. Rego, you're looking a little bit red. Yeah. Atlas. Yeah. I got a problem. <laughs> uh, do you have any, um, I don't know, smells that stop me from itching? Um, yeah, you're going to have to roll for itches a lot now. I Watching don't. you itch makes me itchy. <laughs> Maybe that sewer water will clean Oh, it. no! <laughs> yeah, you know, open wounds, sewer water, yeah, they go you know. pretty well together. Yeah, oh, geez. hand in hand. No, it's not good to scratch. It's Mark I Can't stop. Do you, maybe, cold smell or something? I mean... I mean, yeah, I could cool you down, but like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I come downstairs eventually. Okay. Did you change into your adventurer's gear? No, I don't need to. <laughs> she was already good to go. I wasn't going to be wearing any of the dresses. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, while you're still changing, um, Marakai like turns to you again, Rager, and is like, so, I mean, do you think you can maybe talk to your thieves friends or something like that i don't know because they might maybe know. you can hook me up with some of that icy hot I'll... <laughs> do you Wait. want icy or do you want hot i could do both but i don't feel like that's gonna help what do you think will help the itching i'm sure there's a shop we can go and purchase some ointment no i want you to do it <laughs> what <laughs> she holds her hand out and her sword you know kind of like shoots up into her hand starts glowing really bright in like she swings it super fast like right at your arm and it stops right in front of your arm and then a chill kind of like <laughs> rushes over your arm Ooh! all right we're square now so uh I, I mean i can try to talk to some people i think that if all of us are together you know then maybe we'll be able to intimidate them a little bit especially you with your amazing well, ice sword i'm just thinking like because if these bombs are everywhere but they're all supposed to blow up like there's got to be some way that they're going to blow them up. Right, like, I'm sure that there's somebody coordinating this. So if we get to the head cheese, then, you know, head cheese. <laughs> yeah, I'm <that's>... hungry. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, then perhaps they could, you know, we can stop them from mm -hmm. doing this. Yeah. So, like, who's running the gang? Farsk and Skull have sort of taken over. Is Skull his real name? The Broad Street Gang. I don't know what his real name is. I mean, none of these guys have real names. Wait, is Rager not your real name? I mean, Rager's my real name. All right. Yeah, so, I mean, we, we can ask around. Maybe we'll go down, shake down some of these little kids. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally shake them. Yeah. Yeah. So shake down the little kids. I mean, they got info. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if we're intent on saving this town, literally the only plan that I know of that has any kind of... Any kind of chance of working. I'm down. Yeah, that's right. And I mean, maybe we'll bring some candy or something, you know, something to entice them. Go down to the sewer, give candy to children. <laughs> this, this is sounding yeah. horrifying. I'm thinking no to the candy. Honestly, we'll bring anything down there. They're hanging out in the sewer. Show them you know. Felicia. Have her do a trick or something. Oh, yeah. I can give them some rats if they want. <laughs> <laughs> they can all have their pet rat if they want. <laughs> Yep. yep. Can we use the rats to our advantage? Down there? For sure. <laughs> I mean, if we need to, absolutely. You know, I don't want to go in with that as plan A, you know, but maybe that could be like plan C or D, you know, just call the rats. Well, I mean, could we not use the rats to maybe overwhelm these, your, uh, your thief friends? Well, that's like, what I'm saying. I mean, once we find out where they are, if we need to, yeah. But first we got to find out where they are. I don't know where they are. When, I, when we were down there, there was this little kid who was really high strung. I tried to figure out, you know, try to get the info out of him. He was terrified. He wouldn't let us know where Skull or Farsk was. Well, you, you mentioned that you grew up in the city. You must know people that know them, that know maybe where they are. Right. But I mean, there was the girl that I'd mentioned who came and visited me at night. I don't know where to find her, but uh, everybody else really wants to be dead. So well, where I think the children probably are no best bet. there. Do you maybe have like... Maybe are they still in the same head hideout that you maybe had before? Uh, you know, we could start there. Yeah, I mean, perhaps. Okay. Which it's in the sewer. Is it going to be safe to just like I jump mean, in there? No. Okay. <laughs> we, we, I mean, we, we want to, you know, tread lightly. You know, we want to visit the bombs first. Maybe we should go down to where we were. Okay. 
talk to the kids, maybe get some intel, you know? Yeah. Maybe uh, figure out the safest route into the hideout, you know, to maybe use stealth to our advantage, you know? A lot's changed. I mean, I haven't been to the city in 10 years, you know, so a lot could have changed. Okay. Brittany! Brittany comes down. Yes, you called. You ready for the sewer? One can never be ready for the sewer, but yes. You have to tell me. I, don't know, I think right. Rager's always ready for the sewer. You're going to have so much fun. <laughs> Am I? Yeah. I love the sewer. Yeah, you're a first timer. Oh, man. <laughs> you're envious. Of everything. I remember my first time. <laughs> you never forget. <sighs> All right. So you guys find the nearest manhole. Oh, God. You oh. know why they call it a manhole? <laughs> Can we no. not just walk to where you came from the sewer first and then go down that sewer hole instead right. of sloshing probably... There's a police guard over there that is kind of like eyeing that manhole. Yeah, he saw us come out of it earlier and he was like, yeah, that's not going to happen again. Also, also, no, Gwen is coming with us. Wait, what? Oh, gosh, I've got to make so many arrangements. I really, I have so much I've got to get Do we done. Need Gwen to come with us? I, I really I mean, can't if, be doing this. If anything goes wrong and there's a giant explosion... If you're with me, I can keep you safe. But if you're not, I can't guarantee you. Or her. maybe Gwen can just leave the city and Or Gwen can her. leave the city. Um, your call. Do you want to go dress. in the sewer or leave the city? They could go somewhere outside the city. I the will figure it out. All right. I'm not going in the sewer. But have fun though, guys. I think you'll have a great time. I fair. think it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be wonderful. <laughs> it's not fair. Um, but you know, Brittany, I've got so much business to attend to um, on hey, your behalf. Stay safe. I will. Thank you, Atlas. Thank you. Give her a smooch right now. Well, oh, go. Get, that's a little forward. How about a or ask her if she wants a smooch. You guys have never. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you haven't gone uh, on a date yet. For podcast listeners, <clears throat> Ash just gave her a finger gun and wink. That's right. <laughs> Maybe maybe ask oh. Ralph first, all right? Like, was it, I think there was like a, a date that was bargained for. Oh, actually. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I forgot about that. <laughs> We're going to have to do that at some point. Uh, okay. So um, <laughs> let's just go ahead and smash cut to sewers. Great. You guys are all in the sewers. I cast precipitation to make it smell like the whole you? sewers, the whole you. sewers you're doing? just around me. Yeah, okay. I can cast it as many times yeah. as I want. I'm going to so, make the sewer smell like jasmine. It's not you, but <laughs> the, the scent of jasmine, <laughs> the flower. Uh, you can also use a spell slot to make it look like it's not a sewer. No, that doesn't. Why would you do I that? I can just make it smell. Why it. would you want to? Right. No. I mean, the appeal of the sewer would also, be lost. Also, Brittany, what are you wearing? This picture you sent me. <laughs> I sent her a picture of the Beverly Hills Scout troop leader. Oh, <laughs> she looks like a fancily dressed, uh, like forest ranger. Yeah. Yes. If you guys would like to see this, just type in Beverly Hills Scout. Troop uh, Beverly Hills. Troop, troop Beverly, Beverly Hills. Hills. Yes. So we're in the sewer. Yes. It smells better than normal. Yes. It smells okay. amazing. Mm. So you're not too far from the first, uh, from where you guys were last time. Um, so like your hotel was sort of like a couple blocks away yeah. from that that square where you guys are. Um, and so you basically could get back there pretty quickly. I think we, we meander in that direction and maybe also the direction of the guy that gave us our orders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, can I see any of these crates that these like can I roll to like see if I can find the crates or am I just going to bump into them randomly? So yeah, roll for perception. Oh, wow. wow. That was a good um, one. Yeah, where you're at right now, you don't actually see any of the crates. But when you round the corner around to where um, mm -hmm. they were before, you do see the crates. And they are kind of like stacked a little bit nicer now. They're like off to the side. They're not like mm -hmm. clogging the um, sewerway. So you could walk by just fine. It seems like somebody's been going through and kind of, you know. Arranging? Arranging. Yeah. Are the children still about? Uh, no children uh, about at the moment. Um, if I walk up to the crate and if I mess with it, is there a chance it explode or can I just like... Well... <laughs> well, I want to know what's in them. Like, what is... Is it like, mm -hmm. it's Christina, like a magical... we were told not to shake. Well, so... Do you think it might... Off in the distance. <laughs> so if it's something that's shake, that means it has to... Something that has to like... Like, like a nitroglycerin or something like that. I mean... Possibly. Like, sure. I'm wondering if it's like a magical bomb or is it just like Why don't we, we just don't find we just the know. skull and farts and ask them how it works? We just know not to shake them. Yeah. Kids seemed pretty terrified at the idea of shaking. I just know that they will blow up. I don't, I, but I, I like what you're thinking. I mean, because it would be nice if we knew 
like yeah i mean we should what definitely would like detonate them let me try and figure out what they like are. i guess why perception do we see people fuses uh no uh nothing from this stack of bombs that's leading anywhere else no it okay. just looks like just boxes just boxes do you still have your uh detect magic i do mm-hmm Maybe you should detect magic on them. See if they're magically like if there's like, a ward or anything like that. Like a like I don't think it tells me what kind of magic it is. It just tells you. Right, it but, tells you the cla- the, the the school of magic. I but believe. yeah, and you'd be able to tell if they're magical. So if it's gunpowder, then it wouldn't have magic. Technically, I did this before to learn that the boxes were still there because they had an invisibility spell on them. Right, but you can tell if it was yeah. the invisibility the invisibility spell or if it was the okay. boxes that were magical. Well, mm-hmm. sure, I'll detect magic. So you're gonna go over like to them and kind of yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. I sense the presence of magic within 30 feet. If you sense magic in this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic mm-hmm. and learn its school of magic, if any. You'd see, definitely see an aura around mm-hmm. uh, the boxes, and it seems to be a combination of illusion. As besides the boxes, does mm-hmm. anything else start glowing? Besides the boxes. Like what's inside the boxes? No, like uh, if there's like any... around. Yeah. Yeah. No. There's nothing in particular that beyond the boxes okay. that you see. Like if you look further down the sewers, you can see more boxes that are also glowing. Okay. Um, and yeah, so the other school is evocation. Um, uh, oh, and there's a little bit of enchantment as well. Enchantment. En- enchantment. So uh, definitely a lot of magic going on. Um, yeah. Okay. I relay what kind of magic it was. Um, and then... Can I do an investigation check on the boxes? Uh, or like a knowledge... Can we do like a knowledge arcana or something like that on it? What I'm basically looking for is to see if there's like a glyph on it or something. Something that will trigger okay. it. It's tricky because investigation isn't necessarily for that. Investigation... Because I, I have Glyph of Warding as one of my spells, and mm-hmm. it says a it requires a successful intelligence investigation check against your spell save DC to be found. Oh, so you're so you're trying to do Glyph of Warding. Well, she is trying to see if anyone else has glyphs like that because her spell can only be found in that way. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got it. So you were searching for magical Just glyphs. Just to see if there's a magical glyph, something that will trigger it from like afar. Go ahead and roll an investigation check. Oh, God. Oh, God. No, it's six. Uh, yeah. From, so box. when you go and look at the boxes, you can't see any kind of glyph on the outside of the box or anything like that. It's entirely possible, you know, that inside the box is what you're really mm-hmm. looking for. Right. Um, but you can't at the moment see anything like that. Okay. Could I do like an arcana check? Uh, what would that so, because we don't know what kind, like, we don't know if it's a magical trigger that's going to set off the bombs or if the bombs themselves are magical. Like, I want to know more about the magic being used on the bombs. I think if you were going to do an arcana check, because right now what you're looking at, because you would need to, to actually to see. be seeing the evidence yeah. of it, right? Mm-hmm. So like Atlas has his detect magic up, so he's seeing stuff about it. Mm-hmm. You aren't, you have no perception of what is magical about this. Yeah. To you, it's just a box. So to do a knowledge check, you would just be doing a knowledge check on the box. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Because like you're not looking at anything magical itself. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think it's still worth looking at the box to see if we can, f- if I can see anything that's mm-hmm. out of the ordinary or something that's magical that I might be sure. able to pick so up. So do on. do an investigation check like uh, Jazzy did. Okay. That is what is that? <laughs> see, see, <laughs> that's a sixteen. <laughs> 15? Oh I think it's a 16. Oh my god. Does gosh. it have a dot on it? It's that... a 16. 16 plus 3, so a 19. <laughs> get, get real dice. These are nice dice. Oh, They're very man. nice, but you cannot read them. Yeah, it's the, the sixes have a dot. The 16 doesn't have wait, a wait, dot. Wait, wait, that's a 6. Does that look like a 6? Yeah, that looks like a 6. <laughs> looks like a G is what it looks like, okay? <laughs> it's G dice. We gotta like put pictures of these at yeah. some point so people They're can really see how because like, that is a nine. Cool. That's a nine. A dot. Yeah. So um, they are cool dice, but like, so that's man, a, that's a are... sixteen. Okay. So it's a nineteen. So a nineteen. The font uh, on it is just awful. The font is yeah. real hard to read. Um, it looks like glyphs from Predator or something. Yes. Um, yeah. Yes. That's what they look like. Yeah. So at like the corners of the box, these are just like little like wooden crate kind of things, right. mm-hmm. and you can see, you know, as you're kind of investigating, like you kind of like look through the crack between like what would be like a lid and where the um, whatever's in there is in there, mm-hmm. um, and you can kind of see in there that there is something faintly glowing, 
uh, okay. inside of the boxes. I have one more suggestion, and this is out of character. We could use the tiny hut and then Maytan maybe one of them open so that we're safe in the hut. Yeah, but then that's also like... It's the only time you get to use that hut for a while, right? No, well, she has three spell Taco slots. Palace. I have I have a couple of spell <laughs> slots, but you know. Um, why don't we just? Why don't we just open but, a box? Well, I'm scared that maybe they might trigger the moment we opened them. I got frost hands at the ready. Okay, if you guys want to do that, I'll meet you in the taco hut. Get your taco <laughs> hut ready. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm, but I'm that's down to. Uh, I'm down to be the one that opens box. All right. I don't want to use my. Uh, I feel like we could just ask the people that made the bombs. They're going mean, to lie to us. I know they are. If I have yes, one suggestion. But yes. If we're going to open a box, let's move it away from the other boxes. Ooh. Clearly it's going to so be safe to move. if it blows move. up. They all don't blow up. They all don't blow yeah, up. Yeah, it's clearly it's going to be safe to move because tiny children have been moving them. Right. Yes. I mean, we moved them when we were down here with our tiny child hands. It was fine. Would you like to become a tiny child and move this box upstairs? can't shake them. Do you think being a child while I open the box is going to be helpful in any way? No. no. Probably not. Okay. I mean, smaller corpse, perhaps. <laughs> Easier well, disposal. No, it's magical. He's still the same size corpse. All right, I cast Brittany's tiny taco hut. <laughs> oh, you are doing that. I don't want to die in a sewer. <laughs> Jeez. All right, describe to everyone what your tiny taco hut looks like and what the uh, <laughs> what it means. What is the spell called? That's the best part. Uh, it is called Brittany's Tiny Taco Hut. No, it's no, not. No, the spell itself. The spell is actually called Lehman's Tiny Hut, but I renamed it because it's better as Brittany's Tiny Taco Hut. Um, so the spell reads, it's a 10-foot radius, a mobile dome of force springs into existence around and above you and remains stationary for the duration. The spell ends if you leave its area. Can so this fit I'm, in the sewer? Yeah, it creates yes. a mystical plane. Yeah. Okay. So it's not it, on this plane. It, yeah, it's, so it, it's sort of like a dimensional portal. Yeah. It's like a Pokeball. It's TARDIS. Yeah, it, it's, it's a TARDIS. I, yeah. It's a Pokeball. Yeah. For okay. That's cute. It's so explain, red and white. Explain what it looks like from the outside, then. You can't see it from the outside. You can't? No. no. From the oh, outside, that's right. it's... That's right. That's right. It's completely yeah. visible. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Transparent, yeah. On the inside, though, it's fabulous. There are frills and ribbons and tacos. Oh. <laughs> It smells fantastic in it there. Smells it smells like, like rose water. How much wine you got in there? Oh, you know <laughs> I've got like three wine fridges in there. It's got everything that I could ever want. Okay. So this it's is very, just very, very An Brittany. explosion of pink and hats and dresses. And, and it's wine. just like constantly like sakura blossoms are falling from I can't the wait plain sky. I can't to stamp my sewery feet all over this duck. It's fine. <laughs> so we're moving so a box upstairs. I can't leave. No, not upstairs. Once I leave the area, the, it goes away. So okay. I have to stay in, yeah. in the top of Convenient. Hut. You could actually see outside of it, which I, is really nice. I can, yes. Yeah. So I'll read the rest of the spell just so everyone... Um, nine creatures of medium size or smaller can fit in the dome with you. The spell fails if its area includes a larger creature or more than nine creatures. Creatures. creatures or objects within the dome when you cast a spell can move up through it freely all other creatures and objects are barred from passing through it spells and other magical effects can't extend through the dome and this lasts for eight hours okay until the spell ends you can command the interior to become dimly lit or dark the dome is opaque from the outside or any other color you choose but is transparent from the inside so we can see outside but you can see they through can't it see but you it. can actually choose for it not to be transparent from the outside yeah but I want it to be hidden. Yeah. I mean, I guess for this situation, it doesn't matter. So it's going to be pink. It's going to be taco go. shaped. It's got like taco print on it. Yeah, It's filled with tacos and wine. Yes. Uh, okay. So I'm going to carefully take a box. <laughs> All right. Everybody get in the taco hut. Yeah. We're going to take it down the hall, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Take it away from any cluster of other bombs that we may see. All right, so I open you... up a bottle of wine in, in my taco. <laughs> Wait, can I suggest something? Hut. Yes. How about I open the box with my sleight of hand? Oh, or okay. mage hand. Why? Why are you doing that? Why can't we just cast mage hand on it so no one is out of the protective barrier? It, the I mean, I think that that's a good idea. This is Markai. But do you think that your mage hand is? I can't even believe I'm saying this. As skilled as Rager at it's as skilled opening as my something? hands, and no, it's not. Yeah, yeah. But it's it's more because it might blow up. Yeah, my hands are. Like a children. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go oh. telling that to people. 
like a child's hands. <laughs> They're small, tiny hands. Tiny hands. Smell like cabbage. Smell like cabbage. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, that's but fine. Do, I, I'm going to stay in here. I do think maybe... Like it would make sense to like use your mage hand to move the box. Oh, there you go. Over to the other. Always think in America. We could definitely do that. Yeah, I mean, because like that way, Atlas doesn't have to put himself in danger right away. All right, let's do it. So I mage hand. Okay. Is it's everybody ghostly. in the taco hut? <laughs> so it's a ghostly hand. Okay. It floats over. Okay. It sort of gently scoops up. Mm-hmm. Like it, like like okay. Here's I imagine it because it can be like I think it can be ethereal if I want it to be. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, spectral floating hand appears at the point of choosing, it and I can do. You can use your action to control the hand. You can use the hand to manipulate object. I'll open a door. So it basically the ethereal hand comes down. Mm-hmm. It floats underneath the box, and then it lifts it up, and it just okay. slowly glides. I'm guessing. I'm not sure where we would like to put it. Because you can move it up to 30, 30 feet, feet away, yeah. right? So I assume Probably you, 30 feet away. Yeah. Uh, and then I imagine you probably want to place it just gently on the... Of course, but like, the, where would it like yeah. to go? Like, So like, that hall that we came through, probably like down that hall away. Was there no other bombs down there? No, the, the bombs are like in the little rooms within the sewer. Okay. So I follow Rager, I put it down, and then I kind of do a power walk back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now I'm standing over this box like a uh, bomb diffuser. I'm like on 24 or something and the clock's mm-hmm. ticking. All right. All right. Keeper so. Sutherland does have tiny hands though, like does a he? child. Let's yeah. roll a sleight of hand. So everybody else is in the... Yes. So unless I'm I open them severely mess wine. this up, my sleight of hand is plus 10 now. And Marakai is like like just around the corner. All right, 25. 25. Okay. So, sweat falling down your cheek. <laughs> You're just terrified. Dun, 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 you get your little dun, daggers dun, dun, in the dun, side dun, because you got to kind of wedge this open. Dun, dun, so, you kind of get a little dun, bit of leverage dun, dun, and dun, you pop the lid off. And, and inside, you see um an interesting arrangement of there's like a what seems to be a pretty substantial amount of gunpowder uh, or some kind of explosive powder, um, and there's like a tiny wooden, like very thin um, divider in the box, and on the other side of that divider there is a little red gem, uh, and it's uh, glowing. That's that's about all you can tell, right? Okay. Now. Mm-hmm. So that's what you see. That's okay. what's inside that box. So I'm going to uh, go to the the hut mm-hmm. and. Uh, Let's, so, I don't know about magical crystals, but there's a red one in that crate. So, basically, we've got like a crystal gunpowder situation going on over there. All right. No. Which is an awesome stripper name, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that is an amazing stripper name. Um, that really is. <laughs> Introduce a character named Crystal Gunpowder at some point. Yeah. Oh, I'll um, write that one down. Oh. No, like a uh, digital clock with wires or anything. I don't no. know what that means. <laughs> um, I don't know what a digital is. Um, no, it's it. It's obviously it's magic, and I imagine that these red crystals are going to trigger the gunpowder somehow. Can we just take the red crystals out then? I mean, you can try. I mean, possibly. You know, look at it. Uh, I, I mean, I'm I'm no magician. I don't know what these crystals are. Maybe you guys have more knowledge on Could what I do an color Arcana crystals do what. Sure. sure. I'm trying to check is bad. Yeah, mine too. Because I am not smart. 13. So you can tell that um, it is of the school. Uh, well, it's it, it it's derived from elemental magic. Okay. Um, oh, this is Marikai's Alley. And uh, specifically, it's clearly uh, a fire there's some kind of fire element bound to this crystal. Um, also, you detect that it's very familiar that it the stone kind of, when you detect it, it feels like sort of a message stone where you would maybe mm-hmm. send a message to somebody. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, okay. uh, and by element, you just meant... Of fire, not like an elemental. No, he said elemental. Uh, oh. No, I mean I said an element is bound to it. I didn't necessarily oh. say it was elemental. Okay. I mean, if there's a message, I relay stone. all this, of course, to Marakai. 
Okay, so seeing if she has any insight to anything that she may have heard about this or familiar with anything. She's kind of like a little perplexed, but I mean, it sounds like some kind of elemental trigger. Um, so presumably, give me a second. Somewhere around us might be something that's triggering all of them. Yeah, yeah. So Marakai kind of walks over and looks at the crystal, and she kind of puts her hand over it. And a huge torrent of water kind of blasts out of her hand, mm-hmm. and the crystal fizzles and shatters. Huh. Are we cool? We're cool. I'm fine back here in the taco <laughs> hut. Wait, could we just douse all of the crates with water and potentially if, diffuse if, the bombs? If this is how they're all going to work, then yeah, that should do it. <laughs> all right. But we still have... Who knows how many? We should still just find skull and farts. What if we flood the sewer? And drown all the sewer children? No, they're they're not not here. here. Where are they? Presumably away from the bombs. Because they know they're bombs. How do we know that, though? They knew that they were bombs. uh, They're bad kids, all right? One earlier, he said, save some. (laughs) Let the rest die. (laughs) All right, well, fine. We'll just murder a whole bunch of sewer children. Potentially murder. There's and no guarantee they're going to die. Well, we could try and... I can save the rats. I have my ways. We could just try to find the trigger. I mean, we could, or we could just flood it and say, like, <laughs> joke's on you. I mean, this sounds like there's... We got a couple of ways that we could try and deal with this. Yeah. Most importantly, we can stay. Yes. And I can definitely kill Leo. Right? How great would it be if they were like, oh, now's the time. It's going to blow up. And they like went to activate it. Nothing happened. I would love to see the look on their face. So we we learned, though, that it was House Farland that sort of contracted these right. guys. Right? Yeah, yeah. So. so potentially the trigger's not down here. Potentially the trigger might be with House Farland. Yeah. Wait, are there any more elementals with House Farland? Wait, we don't know that it's an elemental necessarily. Right. I, I mean, is there anybody who... You wouldn't necessarily need to be an elemental to trigger these. I mean, have you heard of them doing anything like this before? Well, I mean, then again, why would House Farland... I mean, maybe contracted them just to place the bombs, but didn't contract them to detonate them? I mean, I wouldn't trust a bunch of sewer people to detonate a bunch of bombs. <laughs> I just think I we know. should still go talk to Skull and Farts. That's I think, I think we should do that anyway, because I, I, I've got some choice words for those guys. Yes. But, I mean, maybe we can do both, you know, like flood the sewer, talk to them. And maybe know? we can get the kids out of the sewers if they are still here. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do a lap around the sewers, you know. It's kind of like, hey, kids. <laughs> Hope you can swim. If you can't, then get to the surface. Marco. Uh, and then we go to the reservoir, and then we just, you know, pull the plug. Is that how that works? Yeah. All right. I mean, you know the sewer the most. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, if um, I've had her get the entire city to flush at the same time. So maybe <laughs> let's go to the room where we were first given our orders and see if some higher up folks are still there. All right. All right. Brittany, you coming? I mean, I could just stay here last for eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> There's wine here. There's tacos. Yeah, but you're not going to know what we're doing next. We're not coming back here. It's going to get flooded, too, eventually. It's going to get flooded. I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, but... If I'm on a different plane. You'll be fine until you need to exit, and then... <laughs> then <laughs> what I are you s- going to do? Swim. All right. It, it's sewer water. No, no, I'm, I'm coming. Yeah, I'm coming. Let yeah, me finish yeah. this glass real quick. I down it, and then I walk out. <laughs> you eat one more taco. <laughs> I have, I'm not bringing up... <laughs> Okay. As you're leaving, Mara yeah. Kai stuffs a couple tacos like into her pocket. Pocket they, tacos. They, they, you can't tacos. take tacos. You can't actually take them out of the taco hut. They only exist in that plane. Wait, right. but so she as, doesn't know that. So like she's like stuffing them down yeah. and like as she walks out. Out of, oh. I guess out of curiosity, perception wise, would we be able to tell that now that the crystal has been broken, the what was it that was glowing in there? Was it a jar of something? Yeah, because you still have your. It was the crystal that was glowing. Oh, it was the crystal that was glowing. Okay. Yeah. So was the only thing explosive in there the gunpowder? Was there other stuff in there that looked like it would be explosive? It was just those two things. It was just those two things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was the detonator. Then the gunpowder itself would, would, knowledge-wise, would we be able to tell that now that the crystal's gone, would I be able to take the gunpowder safely? Yeah. Yeah. I take it. Oh, okay. okay. What do you I like, just pocket just put it? In, I like, put it in, in my bag. bag. Yeah, yeah. No, sure. Yeah. Yeah. So totally. Can it's inert. Uh, out of character, Ash. Can you like 
can you since you still have detect magic going on yeah it's going on for an hour so everything's glowing to me so like magic. does the box now glow it's is different. there still magic there's still the illusion and the right. enchantment because the boxes oh. had illusion on them. yeah that makes sense yeah okay but the inside is not yeah. and then yeah. would we be able to tell based off the crystal that like assume the trigger f that explodes everything would that also be magical or we can't tell that right now it would have to be right the trigger yeah the thing that explodes everything you mean the, th the thing that marakai broke no the the thing no. that's controlling those that oh yeah. yeah you wouldn't be able to tell from here okay okay yeah. We want to go to that room? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait, which room? The room that uh, me and Rhaegar first got our orders in the sewer from that had some head honchos yeah. on it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so mm. let's take a break. Once again, as always is the case, I did not plan on you guys wanting to go into the sewers and doing all this kind of stuff. Ash, I no, I still don't point. want to go into the <laughs> sewers. Take the gunpowder and, like, pocket gunpowder. Fuck damn. Like if someone has a torch. Yeah. Oh, damn. That's ruthless. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, they're probably bad guys. 